Mysterious Precognitive Dream Huang Tingjian reunited with his mother from his previous life. In China's profound cultural heritage, stories always carry the mysteries of history and deep thoughts on human nature. Today, what I want to share with you is a magical story that happened in Huangzhou during the Song Dynasty, Huang Tingjian's precognitive dream, a mysterious fate that traveled through time and space. Huang Tingjian, a famous writer and politician who went down in history, had an unusually clear dream at noon one day, when he was the magistrate of Huangzhou. In the dream, a gray-haired old man stood in front of the door, anxiously calling a woman's name. On the table in front of me was a bowl of steaming celery noodles. Hunger drove Huang Tingjian to the table, and he couldn't help but eat the bowl of noodles. However, when he woke up from his dream, there was still an aftertaste of celery noodles in his mouth. All this seems absurd, but it is extremely real. At noon the next day, Huang Tingjian entered that mysterious dream again while taking a nap. This time, he decided to follow the clues in his dream. Unexpectedly, he found the village in reality, and everything was strikingly similar to what he had seen in his dream. Huang Tingjian stepped into the village confidently and found the old woman in the dream standing in front of the door, her eyes full of sadness. The bowl of celery noodles on the table is still sitting there hot. Huang Tingjian asked softly in confusion, Old man, whose name are you calling? The old woman turned around, with tears in her eyes, I am calling my daughter who died 26 years ago. Today is her memorial day, ah? Huang Tingjian's heart trembled slightly, and he couldn't help but said, Today is also my birthday. The old woman looked at him in surprise, as if searching for some resonance. Later, Huang Tingjian asked cautiously, Can you take me to see your daughter's room? The old woman was silent for a moment, then led him to the room. In the room, time seemed to stand still, and everything was preserved as it was the day her daughter left. The old woman's eyes fell on a dusty drawer. Said to himself, I have never opened this drawer since my daughter passed away, because I can't find the key anywhere. After hearing this, Huang Tingjian seemed to be attracted by some kind of power. He intuitively groped around the bedside and found a key. The old woman glanced at Huang Tingjian in surprise. She took the key and gently opened the drawer. It was full of thick manuscripts and test papers. Huang Tingjian flipped through the pages page by page and was surprised to find that these questions were exactly the same as those he took when he took the number one scholar exam. He looked up at the old woman, his eyes full of shock and emotion, these, these questions, are all the questions I took when I took the number one exam. At this moment, Huang Tingjian suddenly realized that the old woman in front of him was his mother in his previous life. Huang Tingjian groaned, knelt down, and cried bitterly. The shock in his heart was beyond words. Tears welled up, could it be that in my previous life, I was really your daughter? The old woman looked at the tears in the eyes of the prefect. She was stunned for a moment and said incoherently, This, this is, you, are you? The two of them were filled with joy and sorrow, crying in pain. Two souls find each other in the long river of time. Huang Tingjian's tears were not only because of shock, but also because of the love between mother and son that traveled through time and space. From then on, Huang Tingjian took the old woman into his house and treated her with filial piety until her death. This story is like a mirror, reflecting the incredible fate of the world and the mystery of life. Huang Tingjian's precognitive dream is not only a mysterious historical anecdote, but also a profound thinking about fate, fate and human nature. This story, which is both true and full of legend, is still being told today, inspiring future generations to endlessly explore and think about the mysteries of life.